Hi, I'm Matt Jackson, working with Gym Club Solutions. Today we're going to be filming a video tutorial on how to teach forward giants on strap bar. Okay, when teaching forward giants on bar, it's really important to look at the gymnast's handstand first. What we want is a really tall handstand position with no gaps between the gymnast's ears and shoulders, so they're fully extended, which allows them to put pressure on the bar and keep their body stiff. So we're gonna look at just a handstand on the floor bar, and we'll also look at grip positions. So one will be in over grip, and one will be in under grip. Okay, so we're gonna go to handstand on the bar. So what we want to see from the gymnast is a nice tight shape with their ribs in, nice extended tall position, so there's no gaps between their ears and their shoulders, and a tight lower back. You can see when she's in this position, if I apply pressure to her lower back and legs, she has to fight against me to block into that nice tight shape and not go soft in the lower back and shoulders. Okay, in this preparation, we're gonna show the gymnast holding the bar in under grip, which is very, very common when you're teaching the giant and moving on to wooden bar stages, the giant has to be performed in this grip. So when we're on the floor stages, we're gonna teach this grip, but we're also gonna teach this grip, where the gymnast has to work a little bit harder to push and open their shoulder angle as they arrive in handstand. So we'll try the same exercise on the floor bar in the, the different grip position. Okay. So again, pushing hard, ribs in. The gymnast has to fight a bit harder here because they're in under grip now and hold the same position. Okay, so we're now gonna look at the gymnast again in both grips, over grip and under grip, going through handstand and extending away to land on their back on a soft safety mat. When the gymnast does this, this is gonna be the first part of the forward giant when they're falling from handstand and starting the first phases. What we want the gymnast to do is keep pressure on the bar, keep their eyes on the bar and a nice open shoulder angle. So throughout the forward giant, the gymnast should be able to see the bar pretty much all the way through the giant, give them good vision and understanding of where the bar is. So we'll try in over grip and in under grip. So again, we'll start in handstand with a stiff body, ears covered, and then we're gonna extend away, keeping pressure on the bar, and the gymnast will land with an open shoulder angle with their eyes looking towards their fingers. Okay, this version of the prep is gonna be with the under grip. Again, the gymnast has to work a little bit harder to put pressure on the bar and open their shoulder angle in under grip than they do in over grip. So again, we're gonna put pressure on the gymnast, make sure they're holding the right shape, and then watch their vision as they fall away from the bar. We want straight elbows, causing tension on throughout the body. And again, when they come passing through underneath the bar, if there's any bend in the arms, this creates a pull underneath the bar and sometimes pulls the gymnast away. So we want the gymnast to understand how to keep tension through their elbows and keep their ears covered. So we'll be in under grip. Okay, the next stage I wanna look at on the floor bar today is making the gymnast start in a front support shape with their ribs sucked in. Again, we're gonna do this in over grip and in under grip so the gymnast can fill both phases. And then we're gonna lift the gymnast through that support phase, through to handstand, and then extend the way onto the mat. What we're looking for is the gymnast to keep their ears covered, their shoulders on top of the bar, and their chest in as we lift them through planche into handstand. If the gymnast chest does come out through this stage, you can bring them back down to support and take them up and down a few times just to make sure they can hold the right shapes. If this comes out, it's gonna cause problems later on when learning a shoulder-driven forward giant on bar. The gymnast will go to front support. Again, let's look at the phases. So we want their hips tucked down, their shoulders on top of their hands. As their feet come away from the floor, they're gonna have tension. Their ribs are gonna be in, and as we lift them through this phase, we wanna see a rounded shape in their chest all the way into handstand. Find the same handstand position that we looked at the start, and then extend away, holding the bar, keeping pressure. Okay, so we're now looking at the under grip section. So we're gonna do the same exercise with the gymnast in under grasp, we're gonna move them again through that planche position with their chest in, get them to open their shoulder angle, find the correct handstand position, and then extend away from the bar. So we're gonna go front support. The gymnast's hands will be in under grip. 
their ribs are going to be in. So we really want to emphasize this shape when we're doing this exercise with the gymnast so they understand the shape that we want to feel when we're doing the forward giant. So again, when their feet come from the floor, they're going to have tension throughout their body, their ribs in, and we're going to lift them slowly, keeping their shoulders on top of the bar. As they get to handstand, we want that chest to be in still, tension through the body, and then extend away, holding the bar with straight arms. Okay, a nice in-between stage we can use when teaching forward giant on bar is to add in a conditioning stage. So today we're going to use the floor bar and a slider. Again, we've got the soft safety mat in front in case the gymnast falls forwards, but hopefully that won't happen at this phase. We're going to get the gymnast to do a tension bridge, so they're going to have their chest in and their feet are going to be on the slider. We're going to get the gymnast to move their shoulders away from the bar behind it and then close their shoulders, bringing their chest in and their shoulders back on top of the bar. This exercise is for conditioning and shaping. It's also going to help the gymnast understand the last phase of the forward jump when they have to close their shoulders and circle back to support before they can get back to handstand. So we're going to try this in front support with overgrip and then in undergrip. Okay. So what we're looking for as the gymnast is performing the exercise is they're keeping this rounded back with their chest in, as they close their shoulder angle and come back in, we'll see the gymnast has to fight really hard with their lower back and chest to make the shape as they come back in. We'll get one more. So extending away and then closing and trying to keep this rounded shape. Okay, we're now gonna try with the gymnast doing the exercise in under grip. For me, this is the best way to teach this when you're doing four giant preparation. You can do it this way on shiny bar because the gymnast is strapped on. This way is gonna simulate the same feeling as when they're doing it on the wooden bar after they've consolidated the skill on a shiny bar. So we're gonna try this in under grip now. Again, look at the gymnast shapes, what they're doing with their shoulders, trying to bring them away from the bar and then back on top of the bar whilst holding that good shape with their chest in. Okay, so we'll try under grip. So again, the feet are on the slider. The gymnast is gonna work hard on their own to move their shoulders behind the bar and then close their shoulders, bringing them back on top. Again, we're looking at this shape on the gymnast when they're performing the exercise. So they're trying really hard to perform this, keeping their ribs in and they're moving their shoulders behind the bar and then back in front of the bar. Okay, another preparation we can use on the floor bar with the slider is to make the gymnast go out a little bit further with the coach's support pull their shoulders on top of the bar, then open through the plant's position into handstand, and then fall away onto the mat. Again, we can do this in both grips, so we'll show both stages now, so you can look at the shoulder positions, the hand positions, and the body shapes as they move through the exercise. So we'll try and over grip first. Okay, so this time I'm gonna help a little bit, so the gymnast's gonna come away from the bar, pull on the bar, keeping the same shape, keep their chest in, Find that solid handstand position first, and then extend away, holding onto the bar. Extend. Okay, pull hard, ribs in, toes. Keep the shape, good girl. Tight, extend away, good girl. Okay, you can see we're spending a lot of time with preparation on the floor at the moment with the gymnast. This is really important before you even move onto the bar to make sure the gymnast understands all of the right shapes, shoulder positions, head positions, so that when we transition onto the bar, this should seamlessly go into their preparation and they should feel all the right shapes. So today we're gonna to have a go with a rebound system. So we're gonna use the physio ball and the bar and we're gonna try and simulate the bounce to handstand so it's like they're passing the last part of the giant before they go up to handstand. A lot of the time when gymnasts do this, their shoulders come away from the bar, causing the giant to not finish in handstand. This is a really common mistake. So by using this, we can get the gymnast to understand feeling their shoulders on top of their hands and then bouncing and opening through handstand. Again, you can do this in both grips. I would advise this grip, but we'll do it in both grips so you can show both stages when you're teaching your gymnasts. Okay, so we'll try over grip first. So the gymnast will start on the physio ball, make the right shape. Again, so their ribs are gonna be in their shoulders on top of the bar, so we're gonna start through that handstand, bounce off the ball, and then back to handstand. So as the gymnast bounces on the ball, we want their shoulders to come forwards on top of their hands, and then open through handstand. We go one more. Once they're into handstand, they can then extend away from the bar, keeping their eyes on the bar again. Okay, this variation is gonna be with the under grip. Again, watch the gymnast's shoulders 
as they bounce on the wall, they should come forwards with their chest in to make the right shape to open into handstand with their shoulders on top of the bar. So once the gymnast is in handstand, they're gonna bring their shoulders forwards, chest in, and bounce off the ball. So a little bit more shoulders in front, that's good. Shoulders, good girl, one more. And then extend away onto the mat. Okay, another stage we need to really look at when we're using the floor bar before we take it onto the bar is to get the gymnast to understand when they're transitioning their shoulders back on top of the bar, one of the most important things they need to do is understand how to shift their wrists. This brings the gymnast back into a safe support position. So if they don't quite make the forward giant, they're in a safe position to stop and drop off the bar or stop and the coach can put them down. So it's really important. We're gonna show the gymnast wrists when their shoulders are moving, how to shift their wrists on top of the bar. So again, we're gonna use the slider. I'm gonna help a little bit at this stage. So we're gonna go from here. The gymnast shoulders will come away from the bar and as they're transitioning on top, their wrists are gonna shift back into a support position. So at this stage, they're behind, then they're shifting on top. Once she shifts back to this position, I could then easily bring her up to handstand and she's nice and safe before she finishes the giant. Okay, so we're now moving on to the actual strap bar. So we're gonna show an exercise I like to use before you actually learn a forward giant. Again, this is to help the gymnast simulate a forward motion around the bar, but also how to shift their wrists when they're circling forwards around the bar. Again, this will be taught in both grips, under grip and over grip, to help the gymnast feel the circling motion and the wrist shift, both really important parts of their forward giant. So this time, the gymnast is gonna come onto the bar. Okay, we're strapped on. The gymnast is gonna cast and bring their feet onto the bar. Okay, when we do this point, when their ears covered, their legs straight, a nice folded position, and then circle around the bar, keeping their shoulders moving and their wrists coming back on top of the bar. Okay, so we're now gonna move on to trying the forward sole circle with the under grip. Again, for me, this is one of the most important ones, feeling the circling motion. We can really look at the gymnast understanding shifting their wrists on top of the bar when they're doing this, which is giving them real good idea of the feeling of the forward giant when they move on to the full skill. So we'll try under grip this time. Again, so the gymnast is gonna cast, feet onto the bar. Again, we want ears covered, maximum extension, circling round the bar and really feeling shifting the wrist back on top. Okay, so the next preparation we're gonna to use today is we're gonna use some soft safety mats over the pit today. We're gonna to get the gymnast then to jump to support, find the right shape so their ribs are gonna be in. We're gonna lift them slowly through front support, same as we did on the floor bar, open through handstand, and then extend away onto the mats. So we're doing the similar sort of preparation so everything feels the same when you're building up stages so the gymnast understands all of the right shapes and then leading on to this bar, then it will get higher and then the gymnast will be able to pass through the bottom and start making the full circle for the forward giant. So this time we're gonna do jumping up to support. Okay, so we're gonna focus on the gymnast ribs being in. I'm gonna lift the gymnast. So at this point, the gymnast has to fight against the bar so they don't collapse. Ribs in and then open through that shape to handstand. Find that nice tall handstand position and then extend away from the bar with nice open shoulders. Okay, so moving on to the next stage. When we're on the shiny bar, we're gonna again use the under grip version today to help the feeling of the forward giant. So we're gonna go through handstand this time, extend away from the bar, like when we landed on the soft safety mat. This time the gymnast is gonna pass through the bottom and then we're gonna work on pulling and closing the shoulders, shifting the wrists and bringing the shoulders on top of the bar. This is gonna be that really important phase that we looked at on the floor bar when we was looking at the gymnast shifting their wrists to get back to a safe support position, ready to finish the forward giant. So we'll start on top of the bar. Again, I'm gonna lift the gymnast at this phase through this point so we can see the shapes. Open the shoulder angle, then we're gonna extend, and then we're gonna circle back on top of the bar. Okay, so moving on to some of the final stages. We want the gymnast now to be lifted again into handstand so we can really focus on their shapes. 
feel the extended part, feel the circle back to front support with the wrist shift, and then we're gonna bring the gymnast then back to handstand, again, keeping their chest in, simulating all of the phases of the forward giant. Again, I'm gonna be supporting this, so we're gonna be doing it slowly and making the right shapes, and then after that, we'll do it with the cast and a bit of a faster movement around the bar. Okay, so jump, good girl. Okay, so ribs in, shoulders, open the shoulders, good girl. So extending away, circling, good, and then opening again. Good girl, and again, extend, circle, good, open. So last one, extend, circle, good, open. Nice. Okay, we're now moving on to the final stages of teaching the forward giant on the shiny bar. So the gymnast is gonna cast the handstand, extend away with a good open shoulder angle, circle back to front support with their chest in, and then finish the forward giant opening to handstand. This again is gonna be done supported so the gymnast can fill all of these stages. Okay, once we've done this supported, that we can then let the gymnast try the skill on their own. Again, remember when you're at these stages, the gymnast may not make the full skill, but what we the gymnast to do is be safe and understand all of the phases that we've looked at before. All of these skills take time, preparation, shaping, conditioning. So if the gymnast doesn't make it, just encourage them and increase the amount of numbers they do, the shapes, the repetitions, to make sure they can get to that phase in the end. So it's really important to let the gymnast try on their own to feel the phases themselves. So we can let the gymnast try on their own. Thanks for watching our video tutorial today on four giants on shiny bar. I hope all of the progressions that we've shown are helpful for you in your gyms. Please remember to take your time, shape the gymnast, take the time conditioning, understanding handstands, vision of the bar, wrist shifting positions. All of these things are gonna be super important when you're teaching a four giant. So don't rush onto the bar, get the shapes right first on floor bars and then slowly move it on as the gymnast develop. Thanks for watching.